Hey everyone, Rail Fan Man here. Uh, layout update number seven, version 5.0. You see, I got the uh, high railer rolling around, getting stuck. Bachman, Bachman model. <laughs> Lol. So, um. It's probably gonna be. Oh God, it's probably gonna be a quick update. I hope for it to be a quick update. A uh, few things um, I'm gonna talk about. First of all, I want to um, just say thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten probably within the past month or so. Um, I've, I think I went up from like 140 something to like 179 as of today. Um, very grateful for that. Uh, very appreciative. Appreciate you all uh, for subscribing and checking out my channel. And uh, even those uh, of you that just check out my channel and watch some videos or whatever, and don't subscribe. You know, I'm grateful for you too because you know at least checking it out. But anyways, I digress. Moving forward now, um, thanks again. I do want to give a, a shout out to quite a few people um, that um, I don't always catch their videos um, on the same day, um, or it might even be a week or two before I actually uh, get a minute to check it out. Uh, but I want to give a shout out, I got like a dozen people here. Uh, the Crooked River, uh, Dave Thurber, um, on his channel. I know he's building a new layout. I'm trying to follow that as much as possible. Um, he's doing a great job. It's coming along. It's coming along awesome. Um, I look forward to seeing more progress with his. Um, and uh, of course, the one lady that's on here that uh, I watch whenever she uploads a video is uh, Rail Lady 2020. Um, she's been coming along, coming back pretty strong lately. Um, she's uh, started ballasting her, her track, which is pretty cool. She's learning how to ballast, and uh, I think that's neat. Um, what else? Yeah, she's kind of been working on some models. You know, it's just been, life's been busy, you know. One day at a time, though, right? Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go through these these uh, uh, shout outs real quick. Uh, Chris from Go Via or Go Home, um, he's got a great channel. So if you're new to my channel or, or new to YouTube, check his channel out. A lot of information there as well. They have live shows every Thursday, I believe at eight. I try to catch those, sometimes I'm just tired and I'm like, you know, just tired from work, and um, so I, I end up catching a later show, or I'll stop in for a minute to say hi. So that's Chris from Go Via or Go Home, M&M um, &M Rails, Mark from M&M &M Rails, uh, he's another great channel, uh, I want to say Dave from Dave Co, um, I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, Dave Co, <laughs> um, but I know... Dave Cole, Eminem Rails, and Go Via or Go Home are the, the guys that throw on the, the Thursday night shows or they share the duties in uh, bringing those shows to us on YouTube. And then there's uh, another one I like to check out when I can is the, uh, it's called The Bible Train, um, his channel on YouTube. He's got a pretty cool uh, uh, layout, you know, he's got like four tracks going around the servo wheel. He's got gnomes all over the place and just, you know, his videos are like, they're, they're, they're entertaining and, uh, um, entertaining and very, um, knowledgeable at the same time. So, um, I'm going to stop that. Oh, I haven't really ran that around a lot, so I'm just going to stop it. So I don't have to talk over it. Um, let's see, where did I leave off? And then there's, uh, Laguana, um, Laguana Railway, I believe, uh, it's a young fellow, he's, uh, I've seen a couple of his videos, uh, I stopped in on 
I think one of his live shows right now, again, that's another time thing for me. Um, sometimes I, I can't always get on when I want to get on, so, um, but I definitely want to give him a shout out as well. And then there's Eric Miller, uh, who I've learned a lot from, uh, and I've just recently started watching his channel, uh, starting like late last year, I believe. Um, and although I haven't, uh, seen or heard anything from him in like a month, so I don't know if he's just really busy and, and hasn't had time to, to post any videos yet. So hopefully, uh, we'll, hopefully we'll see something from him soon. Uh, then there is, uh, MLWQC, um, his channel, he's got a really, really nice, nice layout, very, uh, lots of detail in his layout, um, superb detail, and he has a couple of videos he's showing you, or showing us how he does, um, like some scratch building and, and, uh, things of that sort, so, um, check him out as well. Uh, then there's the Train Freak, uh, another Jason in, in the house, um. And I've seen, I think one of his son's video there, Train Freak Jr., uh, the start of his end scale layout. So another uh, couple of great channels. Um, and uh, John Arthur, another one I, I, I try to catch um, as much as I can or stop in and at least give the thumbs up, you know, and take a few minutes to, to look at his videos. Um, and then there's, of course, Vinny, uh, hanging with the Cuz, BNSF 6951. Uh, another guy, I uh, watch uh, his videos as much as I can, when I can. Um, and then there's Georgia Sunbelt, Anthony from Georgia Sunbelt, um, another great channel. Uh, and, and then there's, um, which I haven't seen anything from Anthony, I don't think, lately. I haven't really been looking through my notifications that much either, so... Uh, I guess Sunday is going to be my catch-up day, Saturday and or Sunday. Um, so there's Anthony from Georgia Sunbelt, awesome channel. John uh, from Mystic Southern Railway, um, another uh, another great channel. It has a nice end scale layout. And then his uh, art, artwork and detail on his scenery is, is, um, is uh, really, really amazing, so... Check his channel out. Then there's Drew Steele, and then Grandpa Rails, and then um, Metro Rail Fan, which fairly new to uh, with his channel. But Drew Steele, I know he had some issues with uh, Catzilla, so um, hopefully he takes care of that. But anyways, all those guys, you know, I give them all a shout out. Um, and that one lady there, Rail Lady Twenty Twenty, <laughs> uh, and. Without further ado, yeah, check their channels out, you know, like, subscribe, um, comment, all that fun stuff. Really nothing major, just, uh, the only thing major, well, pretty major, I guess, is uh, I got my central gas pretty much scenic up. Uh, I did the ground coverage, um, put the fence together. I still have a few odds and ends on the fence to take care of, but I'm not really stressing it, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but I think it for this area, this corner, uh, came out pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, still a little more work to do and, you know, a little odds and ends. Um, so my little, my little uh, spray foam here, I kind of started, you know, I painted those up, as you can see. This one goes all the way around. Kind of like add a little, little depth, I guess. Um, probably put some uh, some sort of ground covering and some static grass. And then this one right here, uh, I'll probably put a uh, you know some grass and uh, a few trees. Um, I might add like another tree or two in this area. Um, UPS making a delivery. Uh, and then I have this monster over here, which what I had said in my last update, I want to kind of like have somewhat of a divider between the engine shop slash car shop and the lumber yard. Um, so that's in the works. Uh, what else? It's pretty much the same over here. And I painted up these little, little, little mounds or whatever you want to call them. 
painted those up I'll probably just throw some ground coverage on that same thing with this one over here so that's pretty much it um, so now for some news uh, I will not be doing a second level on this um, as of uh, last week uh, my girlfriend and I found out that the people who own this house that we're renting it from um, they plan on selling it so with that being said um, our lease is up in October and my girlfriend and I were kind of like, um, you, you know, we kind of had this in the back of our mind, like, you know, as a possibility that it could happen and well, it happened and it's not a, it's not a big issue. Uh, we'll find, we'll find a different place because our, our goal, ultimate goal is to buy a house. Um, and, uh, it's not, it's not going to happen. Well, our plan is not not for it to happen, I guess, in a couple years. So for a couple years, but anyways, so I'm not really gonna get too crazy um, with doing any more like scenery. I mean, you know, that's five months away, and I figured what I would probably do. Um, I might, I mean, I might still ballast this track, you know, make it look somewhat presentable. Um, but I'm glad I built the layout the way I did because it's going to be in sections. Um, and uh, so if I if I end up ballasting that area, that'll probably be the extent of doing any like more track work, uh, unless something, um, you know, kind of breaks or whatever. You know, if I have to adjust the track, or that'd be the extent of it. And uh, my focus really is going to be mainly on the buildings. That I have on the layout already like you know um, like odds and ends such as fixing the dock uh, adding some more detail to the building so on so forth um, so I'm gonna kind of like focus on each building individually and this one pretty much put together some odds and ends and dock work I need to do however lumber company could probably use a really good could work over especially the lumber yard office as you can see I have no roof no windows and it's just painted um, I'm actually thinking about painting it a different color something lighter as well with the the lumber yard building itself um, so that's probably going to be my next endeavor as far as working on a building or anything on the layout other than just uh, minor um, maintenance you know on the track or you know as far as cleaning the track goes and so on and so forth but anyways that's where i'm at uh yeah i just did a live ops today uh came out great compared to the one i did before and i had talked about in that op session prior that i would be cleaning the track that i was going to be using or working on and also cleaning the wheels of the locomotive i was going to be using so um I don't think I had a single stutter um, or a stall out during that ops video, which was nice. Uh, so, but um, I'll have probably another ops session next week, um, and potentially a pop up ops session during the week. Maybe just a video recorded one, and then I'll do the live one again. Like keep that schedule on like Sundays. So. I'd like to do it on Saturday, but I did some yard work yesterday at my house, and I did uh, did a spring cleanup at a friend's house. So, um, Rail Eighty Twenty Twenty gave me a hand doing that um, here at our house and at our our friend's house. So, uh, it was a long day, but anyways, um, getting back to the, to um, my subscribers. Thank you again. For all my new subscribers i appreciate it definitely appreciated um i will potentially still be having this contest um i want to have it um it's a 250 subscriber contest and there's going to be prizes for ho scale and n scale um and um i'll probably try and get into that a little more detailed uh next time i do an update or just a separate video because i really don't want to drag this on too long so um yeah so stay tuned for that and uh 
everybody I gave a shout out to in the beginning of the, the video. If you guys are new, uh, check out their check out their channels. Um, you know, like, subscribe, drop a comment or two, and uh, yeah, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you see some more subscribers. That'll be great. Um, but uh, any constructive criticism, suggestions, you know, drop a comment. All right, everyone, take care. Be safe. Have a great rest of your weekend. Tomorrow's Monday. Back to work. And, um, yeah, that's about it. All right, take care, everyone. Real Fan Man signing out.